London News. 14,000 motorists in London have already taken advantage of the government's new car scrapping scheme, trading in older cars to get £2,000 off a brand new model. But some mechanics fear it could put smaller garages out of business, and they're not the only ones concerned, as Mark Ashdown reports. A 1954 classic, but this vintage Riley was a chrome bumper away from the crusher. Only the intervention of a classic car club saved the day. Plenty of toys, plenty of toys. And he's even the new owner the hopes his tail so might save so other classics in danger. It will inform people that don't quite know what they've got in their garage and are feeling, oh well, it's £2,000 now. Perhaps they shouldn't let it go and perhaps try and sell them through clubs and magazines rather than just scrapping them. Now, you only have to look in your local paper to see how popular this scheme is. There are plenty of double page spreads advertising it but if the thought of a couple of classic cars in peril has got you worried you should try asking your local garage what they think this garage in South London has seen a 30% drop in trade since the scheme began because brand new cars don't need MOTs for the first few years and any repairs are covered by the warranty a lot of it's our livelihood as such for the small independent uh, with the cars, maybe in a month there might be 30, 40,000 cars gone out. So we'll be looking at to find out, see what the, uh, how we, the independent can survive now. This is where they end up, though the government's confident smaller businesses won't go the same way. The scheme is only temporary and will end when the money runs out or by February next year. As for David, he plans to restore his new prized possession. It shouldn't be too hard. Here's one he rescued earlier. Mark Ashdown, BBC London News.